I can't fuck with snakes. I ain't all the way back for my people. I pray out for for fame. I'm finna turn up and get they ass a taste. I thought I was global, they screaming my name. I'm everywhere like I'm the Chicago way. Way. Now, you be doing interviews for a nice amount of time here, so I'm pretty sure you understand. It can't be boring just sitting down answering someone else's question and everything. And we're here on the wave. I want, I want you, I want you to feel comfortable and have fun with these interviews. Like I want to, like, so I'm gonna hit you with these things called interview segments. Basically, these are questions that I ask everybody just to get that multiple answers can be involved in, but like just to get certain reactions out of us. So, you know. So this is gonna be the part where shit gets lit. All right, now ready for the for your first segment? Let's do it. All right, now check this out. I don't know if you're familiar with No Limit Cairo and everything, but like you, he does interviews from time to time. And in his one interview, he said something that stood out to me. He said, out of three rappers that he from Chicago that he, he believed live the life that they rap about, it's King Von, Lizzie Osama, and FBG Duck. And he says it's because he heard quote unquote gangster stories about them. But the thing is, like, I was asking people for gang stories and everything, and Kyle was seeing my interviews. So he gave me an idea of what I should be asking versus what I am asking. So I'm going to hit you with this. If you don't mind, name three Chicago rappers that you believe live the right that they rap about. Uh, and just to be clear, this is not confirming. This is only based on what you hear in raps. What I hear in raps? Yeah, based on what you hear in raps, is there three Chicago rappers that you believe live the life that they rap about? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, that's a tough question, isn't it? <laughs> You know what's not, not let, me, let me make it easier for you, kiddo. It's not. A, it's not a tough. It's not a tough question. It's just, man, gang, these rappers. I'm telling you. Bro. Yeah. All right, but like, all right. Let me let me tell you this. When I ask this question, people automatically assume I mean drill rappers. It doesn't have to be a drill rapper. It could be someone that has nothing to do with the streets that just rapping anyway. So if that makes it easier for you to name people, then going based off that. But look, this one on. This one on I I I I I I'm gonna say Sly Porteroy, Bum J. Oh well. Damn. Yeah, it's hard. I got two fights. All right, bet, 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 bet. Uh, you wanna leave it at that or you wanna just go on a random list and then just name as many as you can think? I, I know. Already, I, I know. I got two, two for sure. I got Sly Porteroy, Bomb J. Mm. Yeah, that's it. All right, cool. It's all good. It's all good. All right, all right. And you name it OGs here, so I, I, so I respect that. Not a lot of people can name an O, name an OG. Yeah, them OGs are telling me. All right, bet. I ain't gonna lie. All right, uh, that's that's just my that's just my belief. I believe Sly Porteroy and Bump J was living what they were saying. That's my belief. Uh, and I'm not gonna say like just going off the music. I'm talking about like as a young and like what I used to hear in the street. Oh, all right, cool, 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 cool. All right, thank you for mentioning that. All right, so now that we got some examples of people who do live, they rap about, and this, and if you don't want to, you don't got to. But if you don't mind, name at least three rappers from Chicago who you believe is a hundred percent cap in every rap they do. <laughs> hey, hey, only if you don't mind, gang. <laughs> hey, you funny as hell on game. Like, they ain't like the only thing I can say is just all they ass cap until they ass show me that they outside. That's it. You with me? All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. That's all yeah. I can say. I can't, I can't say, say nothing else. You with me? Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. I get it. Because we got a lot. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot of people that's gonna say it's a lot of cat rappers out here, but putting the name on who specifically is a cat rapper is. It's, it's a little bit of a, it's a little bit of a, of a, of a, of a, 
it's a little bit of something that you might want to steer away from. So it's okay. No, y'all. not necessarily. Not necessarily. You heard what I said. Oh, oh, yeah, oh yeah, my, yeah. That's my opinion. Okay, as far as your opinion, I get your opinion. But I'll as tell you what's my other opinion. Okay. Man, all they ass cap game on game. Like, all right, all right. like that just that just my that just my opinion. They ass cap game. Like, no folks. I'm for no gray. It's it's 2024. I'm for no gray. Watch how many rappers <laughs> finna be rapping about they outside and doing all this shit, but really ain't outside game. <laughs> oh game, like you gon you gon you gonna see it, gang. All right, you got you got a good point. You got a good point there. All right, cool. But all right though, now enough of that. Enough, enough, enough of that. Uh who live who live where they rap and who don't. Now that's just Cairo's definition based off that. So now I'm gonna ask you. In your opinion, what what do you believe is a gangster? What's the definition of a gangster? That that stand behind everything he say, gang. All right, cool, cool, cool. He's All standing right. behind that shit. He he's standing behind what he say. For sure. That don't mean he a killer. That don't mean he told guns. All right. Now I'm glad you said that. Now check this out. I done. I, I did. I did one of this artist by the name of Chico Too Fed, and uh, we, I asked Chico that same question. What's your definition of a gangster? He said a gangster is what a gangster is by definition. He gang bangs. He tote guns. He hurts people. Pose up on the block. And to summarize that, if you are not a gang banger, you cannot say you're a gangster. And you're telling me the opposite. Yeah, that's the opposite to me. That's his opinion. My opinion different. A gangster to me, you stand on you like you stand on business, you stand on everything that you say you stand on. That's it. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, and thank you for making that clear. And I'm glad and I'm glad and I'm and I'm glad and I'm glad you answered the way you did. A gangster and a game banger is two different things, gang. Mmm. All right, bet. So I'm missing. So, so I'm gonna make sure I let bro know that when I when I get the chance to see him. Yeah, just let him know that. Tell him it came from me, brother. All right, man. He, he and I'm pretty sure he'll appreciate it coming from you. All right. Now let's now let's get into the, let's get into the one one of the best segments I ever created. Would you rather do your research or your homework? Both. All right, bet. Now which one have you done more of since you came home? Your research Both. or your homework? Oh, you oh the exact same. All right, both. All right, man. I, I do Reese Money and J Man. All right, well, fuck it then. I guess, shit, shit. I guess I don't even gotta explain what these niggas got going on. Reese do interviews. <laughs> they ask him a question. Shit, I don't know. I gotta do my research on that shit. <laughs> and then yeah. this nigga J Man, you he tell you something. He gonna be like, "Why, why is you over whooping, bro? Do your homework on King Yellow got five baby mamas, and I'm fucking one of them." Most definitely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But my thing is with, Re- <laughs> with Lil Reese and Lil Reese, everybody keeps saying, "Bro, you need to do your research." How do you not know nothing? And with J Main, bro, you giving out all these homework assignments, but who's actually doing them? So check this out, kiddo. <laughs> See, since you like to do both, I'm gonna get, ask you questions about a, z- a series of topics here. And if you don't know about that topic, you can either say, "I gotta do my research," or "I gotta do my homework." Now remember. Uh, that's you do not have to elaborate if you don't want to. But if you choose to elaborate, that's on you. Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Now, let's get it cracking. Now, first one. After Lola Money dared Aunt Glizzy to come to Chicago, he responded saying she got the quote-unquote yabba-dabba-doo feet. Uh, I got to do my research on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, do your research on the on our interview when she said she never wears socks. Yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta do my research on that game. Yeah, for so. sure. <laughs> all right, next one. Snuggy DD said out of all four of the mouse couture girls, Mellow Bucks is the only one that's talented and cute. Now nah, I gotta do my research on that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Snuggy was bold on that part. <laughs> I gotta do my research on that. Oh, bro. All right, next one. Lil Kiso said PGF Nuck is a quote is a quote unquote ABC rapper. And if you give him a raw way type beat, he will freeze and don't know what to do with it. 
Hey, I got to do my research on that too, gang. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. But all right, check this out. Shy Rap Bands did an interview with the Chicago Way saying he wants to eat Amari Blaze's ass. And then she responded saying, I want some of your funds, not your tongue. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, I got to do my research on that. They oh. acting bad out here. Yeah, you yeah, be getting yeah. everything. You be catching everything. Hey, they doing these interviews with me talking about it. <laughs> they crazy. Oh, yeah, they crazy for sure. All right, uh, check this out. If you go on a porn site and type in BDK, Lil JoJo's this song to Lil Dirk will appear. <laughs> hey, you funny as me, okay? Hey, I'm I gotta dead. do my, I gotta do my research on that. You hear? Hey, I had to do my research on that. I saw that shit on Reddit. Hey, you crazy, brother? Hey, hey, I'm telling you, man, the shit I be finding is insane. Yeah, that shit crazy. All right, now check this out. Montana 300 said he can outrap Jay Z. Now I got to do my homework on that. Oh yeah, that one's crazy. Yeah, that was crazy right there. Jay-Z, though. Hey, hey, he was serious. He even, he even tried proving it by making five different remixes to Jay-Z songs. <laughs> man, look, man. If he wanted to respond by Jay-Z, just tell him to hit his D.O. like a hundred times a day. Oh, word. <laughs> a hundred times that's a day. All he, yeah, that's all he got to do if he wanted to respond. Okay. <laughs> All right, now check this out. A, a couple more for you. Just a couple more. And then, then, I'm, then I'm going to go on the next topic. FY, FY, no, 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 no correction. Lil Dirk has won a Grammy for his hit single, All My Life. And FYB Monte responded saying, that's J. Cole's Grammy. But congratulations. Mm. Yeah, I got to do my homework on that, man. Oh, damn. Damn, you got to old. you know what? You got so much homework, I'm not even gonna give you some more, man. <laughs> yeah, you got your research and homework on damn near everything, kiddo. Mm-hmm. Shit, it's all good. Well, I'm pretty sure you're aware of a lot of things, a lot of other things that's going on, though, right? Yeah, yeah. All right, for sure. But yeah, though, that I'm was good. a good that was a good segment. How you feeling? No, nah, that's good. That's funny. <laughs> I like that. That's different. Yeah, I uh, like doing different shit. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm glad, and I'm glad you enjoy. I'm glad you enjoyed it because I feel like, like I feel like interviews should, should be coming off across as fun and like just basically just like giving out some some questions that could provoke some energy out of you. And so to hear you laughing at a couple of these questions, I feel like I did a great job too. So I'm, and I'm glad you, and I'm glad you said that was different. Well, definitely, that's mm-hmm. different. I like that. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right, though, kiddo. Uh, ready to get on. Re- ready to get on to the next. Uh, next. Uh, the last few variety of questions here for you. Man, I'm ready. All right, now, now check this out. Uh, now first off, now that I got you here, is this something that I told people I would personally say to you? And I, so I'm gonna personally say this anyway. Just, and I'm not being biased or nothing like that. So I'm gonna tell you the actual truth here. Now, you got you got a girl here, and I respect and I respect that you had a girl because a lot of rappers be trying to like go. Get all of the hoes and X, Y, Z, but you got a girl, so I respect that. And first off, fuck what the internet saying. I'm glad this is your girl. And from what you said in your songs and the interviews, you said she held you down. She she ain't never switch up on you. So you are gonna do everything for her as you should. Now I personally feel like the internet is bogus for trying to tell you who you should or who you shouldn't be with. Because at the end of the day, I understand. Like if you was in jail for ten years and this and this girl was holding you down majority of that time why would i why would i leave her why would i not be loyal to her because when you in jail that's at your lowest a lot of people not gonna be loyal so salute to her for, for holding it down and, and salute to you for staying with her. i just got a person to let you know i respect you for doing that because a lot of black, young black men and or men in general believe that they gotta get all the hoes out here so and for you to be loyal like that i feel like you'll be the perfect person for me to ask this to so like is there a message that you could tell men or the young, the youth out there, or anything as far as like when it comes down to dating, that loyalty is more important than sex? 
Hell yeah. Hell yeah to this. You can have sex with a motherfucker. That don't mean they're going to be loyal to you. Yeah. Sex don't mean nothing. I want your loyalty. Anybody around me, I want their loyalty. Anybody I meet, loyalty come first. Yeah. So here, yeah, yeah. Loyalty come first. You, you got to build a foundation, bro. We was just talking about how hard it is before we got on this shit. Yeah. Well, it's hard out here in these streets, but motherfuckers better wake up. Boy, yeah, shit get real. I'm telling you, shit get real, bro. Yeah. If you don't got no foundation, that way it's not going to make it. Mm. Yeah, for sure, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people be feeling be don't don't be really understanding that. And it's like when it comes to loyalty, I feel like that should be something that's valid and everything. But nowadays we feel we we out here seeing that loyalty comes with a price. So it's like for you to say that, I respect that. And it's like, do you feel like there's no price on loyalty because that's the one thing that should always be free? How could you pay for my loyalty though? That's something you gotta earn, just like respect, just like love and care. Like you can't, you can't put no price on that shit. Yeah. If you put a price on that shit, that means you will steal your soul. Mm. Yeah. It's just certain sure. shit you just don't do. Yeah. Because five years from now, how it is now. It ain't gonna be like that. It's gonna be different. Mm. Highly different. And and I agree. And I feel like you I feel like not, nowadays you gotta go through life to understand that, but that's 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 the truth. All right, bro. Now I'm gonna hit you like with like with like three bullshit questions, then we gonna get then we're gonna get to the most important questions. We're gonna be done here. Now check this out. Now you know how, like how you said, the NWP putting airs about you and how other balls you trying to put drama on you and shit, right? Mm -hmm.